132, calculate the concentration of TL plus when TLCl just begins to precipitate from a solution that is 0.025 molarity in Cl minus. Okie dokie. So we're talking about precipitation, right? That means that we're basically going to start or begin to form a solid. So we're, we're basically at a saturated solution. When you begin to precipitate, well, can anybody say this word? <laughs> when you begin to precipitate, you're at the start of basically a saturated solution. And if you, you know, add more concentration, you'll turn into a super saturated solution in which you'll have a lot of precipitate. So that's why I went to the back of the textbook to find out the KSP, the solubility product for TLCL, right? If you are using your KSP value, that means that you are using a saturated solution. And that's basically what we have. So for right now, remember any KSP, we need the balanced equation. So I'm gonna take it from the compound, TLCL, and that's a solid, right? It's gonna break down into its ions, dissociate, right? Double arrow, because uh, if, oh, <laughs> if my screen is flickering, uh, that means that there's a really bad uh, thunderstorm. So hopefully you get this video. <laughs> if you don't get this video, my power completely went out and I'm in the dark. Anyway, let's keep going. So TLCL, solid, uh, breaks down into the two ions, TL plus one, right? Aqueous, they told us the ion, so thank you very much. And then Cl minus, right? That's aqueous. All charges are always aqueous. Uh, balanced equation are ready, so I don't have to worry about that. Let's just write out the values. They told us that my chlorine ion concentration, my Cl minus, is 0 0.0250 molarity. And I want to find out what that concentration of Tl plus is. So this one. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to label it as X. Now I can use my KSP equation to find out what the TL plus concentration is. Remember, the KSP equation is this one, right? It's just equal to the products raised to the coefficients. So in this case, my KSP is going to equal the concentration of TL plus times the concentration of CL minus, right? I don't need to raise them to any exponent, right? Because the coefficients for both TL and CL, those are one and one. So I can raise you the, to the first, but that's the same thing as not raising it. TL is X, CL is 0 0.0250, and the KSP that we, well, that I went to the back of the textbook to find is 1.7 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okay, so let's go. 1.7 times 10 to the negative fourth equals x times 0 0.0250. We want to solve for x, so just divide by the 0 0.0250. Easy as that. Okay, calculus out. Let's get it done. 1.7 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 0 0.025. Just making sure that I put in all the right numbers. Looks good to me. And X, which was, all right, we'll just put it in, right? We'll do scientific notation. Six point, I guess we'll do three sig figs if we really care, right? Uh, 6.80 times 10 to the negative third. And that's molarity. Now just always go back to your equation. TL, the concentration of TL plus was only just X. So in this case, it is the value that we just found out. But you know, if you have like a two X here, you just have to times that answer by two. But in this case, it's just the same number. And that is going to be the concentration of the TL plus ion. And that's the end for this one. So what'd you think? I really hope this helped you out. Let me know in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool a YouTube channel exists. Just want to get the word out there that, you know, there is free education options for chemistry, physics, and math at the moment. So go check the channel out. Thank you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.